Okay, so welcome to this new subject, English for International Trade. My name is Duxia Cuña Perez, and I'm going to be your teacher during all of this term. All right, so let's start. About me, students, what I can tell is that um, along my academic formation, I have completed studies in um, education in the specialty of foreign languages at Pedro Ruiz Gallo University. Also, uh, well, I could get an, upset, an acceptance letter at Simon Fraser University for uh, doing a mastering. And also I have completed a mastering in university teaching at uh, Universidad Nacional Enrique Guzman Ibañez. All right, so this is about me. Okay, and about my experience as students, what I can tell is that right now, nowadays, I'm here at ADEX Institute. Um, I also uh, work for another places like uh, ESFA, all right, in Universidad de Ciencias y Humanidades. Okay, previous to these jobs, okay, I have um, had very beautiful experiences at universities like uh, Universidad Nacional Mayor de San Marcos, uh, also Universidad Cesar Vallejo, Universidad Tecnológica del Perú, and others uh, language centers like IPNA, uh, Senati, and the language center also for the, um, the main place for Senati. Uh, I have also worked for C10 with the army, Peruvian army. So it is a pleasure uh, for me students to share these moments with you, okay? And to try to um, share, okay? This knowledge with a lot of dynamics, strategies, and this is what we are expecting from this subject, all right? Okay, so about the subject, okay, that we have, which is English for International Trade, and you are observing here at my slides, uh, the capacities that we're going to develop is to focus on these four skills in English to get the level B1, all right? So when we mean the four skills, okay, what we expect is to that at a, a certain point, okay, you can structure paragraphs coherently and describe facts related to international trade, all right? When we say structured paragraphs, it means that you can manage vocabulary, certain level of grammar, because this is a level B1, all right? And also um, to organize your ideas in a proper way. For this, uh, we're going to um, cover kind of a different corporate uh, documents that you may need during your uh, career. Also, we expect that you understand main ideas in a speech, in the listening, etc., and also express your opinions or a uh, projects, okay, to develop your ideas with accuracy, all right, according to your level. All right, for these students, you know that this subject, this term is divided into ten, um, seven weeks, all right? Between synchronous and asynchronous hours. So what does it mean that if I don't um, commit any mistake, okay? Um, on Saturdays, we're gonna have these asynchronous hours. So uh, these asynchronous hours, is to receive the tasks, to check uh, your task, and also to provide the proper feedback. Students, what I want you to understand is that when I give a feedback, it's supposed that you um, check the material that I'm gonna send you because this is B1 level. So in spite, this is low intermediate, this is a big step of more than the basics. So uh, you're supposed to focus on this on it, okay? And if there could be the situation that uh, maybe you have problems with grammar or any other vocabulary, it's important that you uh, communicate with me. We're gonna have a WhatsApp, but I'm gonna tell you this um, today at class, all right? And also, um, 
we can keep in touch, okay, to share material and other ideas so you can reinforce your English, you know, for your career. It's tremendously important that you uh, understand this topic, that you manage English at a certain level. All right, about evaluation here you have, as the syllabus is mentioned, all right, we have continuous evaluation number one, two, and three. All right, there you have the percentage and also in which weeks you're gonna have this evaluation. This is what we have until now, all right? Um, according to uh, how much of this score you're gonna have, all right? Remember you have academic tasks, forums, questionnaires, also in, in participation. Uh, about these students, please make a next right effort. I'm gonna be my best I'm gonna do my best to uh, right to make you participate to bring you the best uh, by different tools, all right? Technologies. If you want a music, if you want other strategy, we can try it. But always let's keep in touch, okay? And um, all right, sharing our ideas. Okay, so yes, this is important. Okay, the minimum score to a uh, pass, all right? The term is thirteen, all right? So. Miss, and what happened if um, maybe I couldn't attend to your classes? Remember that you have justify uh, with your um, person in church. Okay, there is a student who is in church, all right, and he or she can communicate it to me. All right, uh, also about uh, this attendance, okay, it's important. Okay, it's important. You can connect it by laptop or by mobile phones. There is no problem, but the idea is that you are uh, in class, all right, and to uh, try to do your best to participate. Okay, all right, students. So, um, as I have mentioned before, uh, you're gonna have a WhatsApp uh, group of WhatsApp. I'm gonna share with you the link here on the Moodle platform, all right, and also during class. So everybody can be um, together, right? And maybe to justify absences or ask for information about a subject or any topic that may not be clear. You mean um, you need more, um, I don't know, you have any doubt, all right? So you can make your questions, all right? So see you at class, students. Have an excellent day. Goodbye.